but I would recommend the first thing you want to do so you don't always see all the shapes and stuff when you work on it you actually go and lock this union like this it this won't appear anymore you can't make changes to it for that the most simple thing that you can do we mostly want to work with cylinders and curves for for clothes so we can just copy that that you already have the classic cylinder hat another thing that you can do is round up your objects I like this Let's round them up and now those are the big shapes that you want to start with so the thing is with the base cap we obviously see the very round part on the top like this but then we also have the bottom part and we also need the front part so here we can start with a sphere and copy the same thing, turn it into a cylinder, rotate it in a 90 degrees angle. It's a tip you can rotate in 45 degrees angle by holding down shift. I'm making this a bit smaller, putting it down here. And now one way to, you know, get the holes into the clothing, because right now it's just that junky forms, right? We just copy both shapes and we turn both shapes into a negative. Now it's obviously <laughs> um, deleting our shapes right now, but we just turn it a bit lower and now it's like subtracting from the bottom. Still not looking quite right, so we go individually, we grab our cylinder shape, maybe move that up a little bit, or we try around with the goop strength. Just like this, maybe. It's already a bit better. And maybe we move it up a little bit as well. And maybe we round it up. already getting uh, a bit closer to the shape that we want we can also goop it a bit together just a little bit though mm, this. and like that you basically just try around until you get the right shape that you want now this already Looks quite good, I would say. Maybe we can round it up a bit more even. It's starting to look like it. And now, another thing that we can do is start adding more details. Base caps often have that little like dot on the top or something. Lovely tips and tricks, thank you. I want to get out the second point, move it down here, make it bigger, and then we basically just block it out first. You always gotta think in those big shapes. So here we're bringing it down even more. <laughs> but yeah, now you got this weird shape, alright? Maybe make this even bigger. And then here again. Just wanna just wanna start like this. Copy the same shape. Turn it into a negative. Bring it down like this. Bit of gooping. And now you have something like this. Obviously it doesn't look quite right yet. So we take the last point. And just move it down a little bit. Kind of like this. Now? You see? That works. And you can adjust the individual points. And so to make it more dynamic, you need to know well, when you want to make dynamic things, the biggest enemy of dynamic things is like symmetric things so always give it a bit of imperfection i would say and gooping is your friend for for all of this you just blend it a little bit like this copy it 
bring it over here. And now, you can now also copy curve points, by the way, if you didn't know that yet. Then you basically just make a second curve point and scale that up quite a bit. But now here again, to, to make it like an actual sleeve and not just a blocky thing, same, same thing again. Turn it into a negative, make it a bit smaller here. And now what's, what looks really nice is if you here, just give it a bit more from the, from the front or, or the back, like you just move it around a little bit. Kind of like this. And then you can play around from like from where it actually subtracts more and how you want it to be shown. Like this, this, this works really well. Looks like a fairly wide um, clothing, I would say. And the cool thing with cubes is that we can round them up and that's what we're gonna do and see if this works. So we're giving it a bit more like this. Seems like for this pose you mainly need to work fairly individual on both sides. But I'm showing you how it works like with the mainly the right side right now. And then you copy this point, bring it down. And here you can make it a bit bigger already maybe. And also higher. So just straight up a cylinder is like the most basic pants that you can do, which is actually fairly used fairly often. Like you, you can you can see that this would already be like you know short shorts. You can also round it up a little bit to make it like this. But the thing is, you always want to give it um, the wholeness. So always just copy the same shape make it thinner and subtract from it so you can actually see that changes a lot on how, how it looks how realistic it is that would already make uh, a lot better shorts but let's stretch it above like the full leg you just turn it again how how the legs are moving and then to give it some more style let's make it like bigger at the bottom And then one cool thing that you can do, but I would say mainly we should round this up. That would look definitely look better. Yeah, like this. And yeah, now you can also play around with things like making it really smaller here. Rounding this up, bringing it a bit inwards. It's a really fun part actually, because we already have the puppet, the reference, so we can really just dress it. So we cut it from the bottom. Oh, that's really interesting. See, that's a happy little accident, you know. That's some fashion where the, the pants are split a little bit. I feel like that's really interesting. Could do something like this. <laughs> this is where you guys should go crazy with it. Yeah, let's actually give it a little hole here. I feel, feel like it's fairly common at the knees. Round it up fully. And just like this, you can create some really nice looking folds and detail into your pants. Especially when you repeat that. Maybe, maybe a bit more gooping even. So now you keep doing this. And slightly turn it again. And this will especially look nice if you if you do it at, at a few different parts of the pants. And then you always, because it looks very easily repeated, you just want to, to give it a bit of a different rotation to it. Because that's just kind of how folds are working. Like, like here, it's really nice that you see, you know, there's the lag, but it's whole inside. That's really important. It's not like it would easily look weird if it was just that chunky 
cylinder thing here. So always subtract from the inside. Kind of like this. And now look at how detailed those pants look like because of the folds that we've uh, brought in. Just a little reminder. Um, this is how it looks without the folds. You know, very, very basic, very simple, not very organic yet. But now with the folds, it actually looks like a pant. And you can, of course, even go on with even more detail and stuff. So we get our curve to be like this. Make it a bit smaller here because the shoe or the fo foot goes like thinner at this point. And then we go like wider again at the back. So yeah, we copy the point. Bring it over here. Always like uh, we, we, we got it quite easy. We just need to rotate along to how this body already works. And it's nice that it's blending in a little bit. So we just copy this, make it higher. That looks like a shoe, I guess. <laughs> so you basically want to blend slowly blend your pants into your like hips so you just keep going like this turn it and like that you can give it like a belt then like i would connect the pants to something that looks like a belt that works really well i feel like but yeah you see like th this kind of detail changes so much already Get your base shapes done and then go full in that with the details. Bring in some folds, some subtractions, some holes maybe, some color variation. I really hope you guys enjoyed the stream highlights and that you found something valuable in the tips and tricks that were given in there. Um, after the stream, I was going back in and giving my character quite a bit more detail and polish. We used the same techniques that I showed you guys in the stream. Um, I just created the other side of the lag, giving it more folds. I also gave the folds quite a bit of a slightly different color and together with the gooping that makes it even more immersive or more organic and natural. Just quite a bit of shading in there as well. I went back into the shoes and gave it some like um, lace holds and like <laughs> the, just the laces and just improved the overall shape quite a bit. I think they look uh, lovely stylized and just little details like giving it the laces just you know it's something small but it makes it so much more detailed and polished looking. I also uh, redesigned her top and I think that looks quite nice. Also really easy um, to make a lovely looking chain like this is to just work with curves density this is just a normal sphere curves and then giving it the density to have the spacing between the spheres i think that looks very lovely and i also gave her some cat ears on the cap and decided that she was a self-claimed hero saving cats in her neighborhood <laughs> She just turned out so random just by giving different kind of tips in the stream that this kind of came out of it And I think it's a quite cool. Like I feel like I would like this person <laughs> But it could might as well be just a case where you press randomize in a character editor <laughs> But yeah, um, that's it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed it and please show us you your fashion entries. We currently still have the fashion week running so give it a go and create your own designs. We would love to see them. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.